Welcome back, YouTubers. Today we are going to test the Hoyt Eclipse short draw length bow. This is actually quite a really nice bow. I've only shot it a few times, but I haven't really tested a lot, so today is going to be our test. The manufacturer says this bow has a six and three quarter inch brace height. So we're going to give that a check here. So I'm measuring about six and a half. So once again, you probably have to take the grip off this bow to get it to read six and three quarter. But that's six and a half, and I think that's kind of being generous. Uh, IBO speed's 314 foot a second with 80% uh, let off, although I believe we couldn't find that published. So we tested it, and that's kind of what it came out at when we checked it. Uh, it says the mass weight is 3.7 pounds. So we'll give that a try here. Oh, wait, it's not reading. There we go, there's a zero. What do you see there? The light's kind of getting me. 3.7, 3.8, and that's with an arrow rest on it, so that's pretty damn light. Um, it's probably a little less than 3.7, and I didn't have to take the little rubber dampeny thingies off or the cue card that comes with them off, so this bow's probably a little lighter than they actually say it is. It's available on 23 and a half to 28 inch draw lengths. It does require two different base cams to change that. So if you needed to go from like a 24 to like a 27, you're gonna need the whole cam assembly, strings, cables, and modules. This has a module on it here and here that you need to change whenever you change the draw length via half inch increment within the base cam. So two different sizes. So one doesn't cover the whole gamut, just so you know. Make sure you're buying the right base cam for your draw length if you choose to purchase this bow. It's available in a 20, 30, 20 to 30 pound, 30 to 40 pound, 40 to 50 pound, 50 to 60 pound. And out of the three main bows we're gonna test here, this does have the lowest available peak weight. You can actually buy a 30 pounder where the other ones don't offer that. So there's, I guess, one step up in your comparable to your Hoyt. But without further ado, oh, sorry. Axle to axle length, 29 inches. Thank you, Forrest. Oh, let's see what we get. 28. Hmm. Wow. That's off by a lot. So uh, those are the numbers we pulled off their website. So I'm not sure if their website's wrong or what, but an inch off is a lot. So I'm imagining it's probably a 28 inch axle to axle bow, not a 29. Or I could have been groggy when I pulled those numbers. So we'll see. Without further ado, let's fire a couple arrows out of this. This is a 250 grain arrow. It's an RIP extreme velocity with an 80 grain glue in point and a 400 spine. That's five grains a pound and this bow is set at 25 inches, which is the same that we tested the Prima at and the same we'll be testing the Ivashaki at. So as fair as we can possibly be in overall weighs right at 50 pounds. Here we go. So first off, this feels a little stiffer to draw than the Prima did, but it's got a really good back wall. And I don't feel any riser whip at all. And I don't feel any vibration at all. That's a very, very impressive little bow. Try again, arrow number two. And when I shot the Prima, I was actually using a 350 grain arrow, which would make it probably feel a little better. Um, but first shot to first shot, I almost think this bow feels better. But when we get all three of them done, we'll go back and shoot them side by side and eliminate them like we typically would do when we're trying to buy a bow. Yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of vibration. Very, very minimal. It kind of hangs. It's almost like a little, just, just but ever so slightly. And uh, definitely no riser whip. This, this riser is very stiff. It does not flex at all. Yeah, tiny little, tiny little residual vibration feel that I didn't quite get with the Prima, but the Prima had a little bit of flexy feel when it went off, where this doesn't have that at all. So uh, quite nice, quite nice. But let's see how fast it is. I'm willing to bet it's, it might be faster. We'll see. I need a, a grease board to write these things down while mm -hmm. we're doing them so we can make notes. So, All right, once again, this is a 50 pound, 25 inch Hoyt Eclipse with a 250 grain Victory RIP Extreme Velocity arrow. Let's see how fast it is.
279. Two seventy six. Oh, and I took a fletch off. Uh, so we're gonna have to call this two seventy eight average, which is uh, three feet slower than the uh, Prima, but. This bow has an inch and a quarter more brace height, making it probably a bit more forgiving. And I'd give up three feet for an inch and a quarter of brace height any time. Um, this bow is pretty darn impressive. Really good feeling bow. I just love, 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 love that every major manufacturer is starting to really truly make something that's an equal performance product at a shorter draw length. I just love it. Um, people with short draw lengths or whether it be a, a shorter draw length man or uh, just women in general typically have shorter draw lengths than men. They just weren't offered a really good, phenomenal product and now they're really paying a lot of attention to it. So I'm happy to see that. All in all, it's a pretty darn impressive bow. Definitely keep it in your comparables for when you're trying to pick out something of this size. Um, head on over to PodiumArcher.com for all your archery needs. $99 and up is free shipping. If there's something that you're looking for there that you don't see, please let us know. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one because we will do a comparable breakdown and pick which one of these we think is the best. Viva Shockey's coming next. Take care.